Okay, yesterday I did a video using blow pens to decorate eggs. Now one of the things people said to me is what if you don't have blow pens? So let's just see what these things are supposed to do. They're like a airbrush, very simple sort of airbrush mechanism. You blow down the barrel, it blows ink onto the paper. So what if you don't have access to blow pens? Or what if you actually want to spray with something that isn't felt tip pen ink? Well, you can make a sprayer out of a little jar and a drinking straw. You can find a little jar like this. This one, this jar came from Pate, but you can find little jars like this with jam or marmalade in them at hotels sometimes. Or sometimes you can get a baby food jar that's about the right size. It, the size doesn't actually matter, it just needs to be small enough that you can hold it. So we're going to make something out of a drinking straw, the jar, and a bit of tape. But first, I need to make a hole in the lid. I went down to my workshop and I just banged a hole in that with a nail and a hammer. The hole just needs to be big enough for the drinking straw to fit through. Next thing to do is we're going to actually cut off the bendy part of the straw because we don't need that. And then we are just going to cut a tiny notch in the straw. Not easy to do and you need sharp scissors. These are first aid scissors. They're quite good for cutting fine things out like that. There we go. And then that little notch, I don't think I've cut it big enough. So you have to experiment a little bit with this. So I'm just going to cut a little V-shaped notch out of the straw. That's it. And we cut, we've cut about halfway through the straw so that it bends back on itself like that. And then we place it in the jar like so. Take a small piece of tape and tape it down like that. So what we've got there is a tube that goes along this way and one that goes straight down and they're kind of joined almost at right angles. And we'll just we'll probably have to do a little bit of tweaking to get that working, but we'll just start off experimenting with water because ink would make a mess at this stage. Just screw that jar lid on and just try and see if that works. Yep, that works. So you probably can't see very well, but so what I'll do now, I'll put some paint in here and we'll see it working with paint. Okay, so after a bit of experimentation, I couldn't get that to work again on this one and I think I figured it out. So I think what we actually need to do is cut a notch in the straw that is straight there, like that, and at an angle there so that we end up with a organ pipe type of cutout out of it. So that when that bends, bends flat, we've got a straight cut across the top of this short piece of tube here and an angled cut there. Let's try that and see if that is any better. Okay, so this is potentially where we make quite a mess. I've got some water here, which has got some red food dye in it. And I'm just gonna carefully fit that lid on top. then we'll try spraying it and see what we get. So can you see? Yes. So there you go. We've managed to create a spray effect with only the very simplest of materials. I'm in a right mess here because obviously this is food dye. So take care not to stain your furniture, your skin, your clothes, your friends. So that's how to make a really, really simple atomizer spray gun for painting effects and for art and craft out of a straw, a jam jar, a piece of tape. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you again soon.